Ancient texts told our ancestors that the sun had a companion in the heavens and that we were somehow bound to this other star. Walter Cruttenden, a science devotee since childhood, is coming to the same conclusions. The pull toward this knowledge was so strong, in fact, that he sold his businesses and has devoted himself completely to learning the truth of whether or not our star has a companion it's gravitationally bound to in an amazing celestial dance that is shaking the world of astrophysics upside down. And so the hypothesis, uh, first, before we kind of get to where we are in the cycle, mm -hmm. is that the uh, rise and fall of civilization is related to this orbit of our mm -hmm. solar system around another star. Mm -hmm. And as we get closer to this other star, we seem to be at a high age, and as we go away from this star, we seem to be at a low age. And you can tell by the precession rates. If precession is caused by an orbit, it follows Kepler's laws. Mm -hmm. um, so it appears, since precession rate is increasing every year, and this is, drives the loony solar theorists crazy, uh, that we are in a uh, orbit that is going closer to the other star at this point. And indeed, if you look at the archaeological record, we seem to have all these great civilizations around the world. They fell, probably bottomed out in what we call the Dark Ages. Mm -hmm. Our scientists might not recognize the Golden Age, uh, or historians won't, but they do recognize the Dark Age. The Dark Age, Age right. And then we had a Renaissance rebirth, and, mm -hmm. and we've been kind of moving up since then. So we're maybe 1,500 years since the depth of the darkest age. Mm -hmm. One of the most interesting aspects of this interview is Walter's views on which star our sun is in companionship with and how this dance affects human consciousness. Click the watch button to see the whole incredible story.